Somewhere in the mountains, 11.45 p.m. Ah, oh, really, babe? When you said you'd take me for a whirl, I didn't think you meant the tilt a whirl. Besides, this place is a dump. No, ye of little faith. This is more than just a dump. Have you even heard the stories about this place? Uh, no. <laughs> then let me enlighten you. Over a year ago, this theme park tried to capitalize on a real-life murder mystery by building a walk-through horror attraction. I was kidding. I know what happened here. A fire burned down the horror attraction, and then the other ride started mysteriously breaking down. Then some tycoon bought out the park and shut it down. You'd have to be a scrub not to know. Or new in town, whichever. I'm not new in town, so you think I'm a scrub? Harsh. Anyway, they say that the animatronics in the attraction came to life at midnight. And would stuff any poor sap they find into an empty suit. You've basically become human hamburger meat. So, for date night, you're gonna make some robots angry and get us shoved through meat grinders. How romantic. Wait, I thought this place had only one animatronic. Everything else was parts and shells. Also, wouldn't it have all gotten torched? Mm, yeah, but they were able to auction off bits and pieces post-fire, weren't they? For all we know, there could still be stuff here. Hold on, you actually believe this crap? No. It's all ghost stories. I'll talk, no walk. All we gotta do is sit here until midnight and see what happens. If it's a bust, we'll just go back home and brag to all our friends that we spent the night in Fazbear's Fright- <laughs> Do you hear that? Okay. If you're pulling some prank to try and scare me, we are so over. I'm not, though. Now, nah, where's my flashlight? <laughs> Did you see that? No, you jerkwad. It ran off too fast. Hmm? <laughs> Who's there? What's going on? Why are you asking me? This was all your stupid idea! You're blaming me for this?! You're the one who decided to come with me?! Yeah, cause I didn't think you'd actually get us killed! Okay, let's just calm down. It's probably just some homeless guys in costumes. You think? Uh, yeah, the, the real robots were from, like, the 70s. There's no way they'd still be functional. <laughs> Ow. What flashlights are they using nowadays? It triggers the reset glitch every time. <sighs> Such a pain. Why, buddy, what gives? You nearly blew our cover. Why have they got the good look at you? What? I nearly blew our cover? <laughs> That's rich. At least I was trying to scare them. What were you and Chica doing, trying to give them a hug? Take it easy, both of you. We got them out of the park before midnight. That's what matters. Foxy, what were you and Chica doing so close to them? I thought I told you two to stay back this time. I was, Cotton. But it were Chica who were getting too close. I was trying to pull her back. Hmm... Chica? Yeah? Is this true? Yes, Freddy. 
What were you thinking, Chica? You could have screwed everything up. Bunny, shush. Well, I was just... <sighs> Never mind. What is it, Chica? Come on, you can tell us. Well, I was thinking. Maybe it would be nice if we didn't scare them all. You know, have visitors. Just for once. Are you out of your bloomin' mind loss? You know what happens to people here after midnight. It's just that they're outside in the park, though. Calm down. Calm down. Chica, what's brought this on? This place is so dark and empty. It's unbearable. Don't any of you guys miss people? Kids? Those kids had faces riddled with acne, bad makeup, and reeked of B.O. They were about as close to kids as pepperoni is to rubber bacon bits. Come on, guys. Don't you? Mm -hmm. I understand where you're coming from, Chica. I know it's been... hard adjusting to this new life in the past year. But we can't afford the luxury of visitors if this place isn't safe, can we? But the danger is out there, not in here. For once, we're not the reason the place isn't safe. I know it must sound self-centered, but we're not the same now as we were back then. I'm sorry, Chica. I really am. But if we must chase people away to keep them safe, we should. We have enough on our consciences already. And as leader, I have a responsibility to keep not only the humans safe, but us as well. Hmm. <laughs> Bonnie, something you'd like to add? No. This chasing everyone away, we are doing the right thing, right? Hmm. Of course. Have faith, old friend. It will all work out in the end. All right, students. Before you leave for the weekend, I would like to talk with a few of you about your midterm grades. You're not in trouble, but I am less than impressed. So if I call your name, would you kindly remain so that I may speak with you? First, Latifa, then Justin, and Taylor. Then afterward, I would like to speak to Cody Humphrey. After Cody... Ma'am, Cody already left. Dodge that bullet. Your terms were not kind to me. But I don't need another teacher glaring down her nose at me for it. Of course, that only means I'm gonna have to bite it on Monday. Oh well, at least Dad isn't gonna be home this weekend to bug me about my grades.
up, man. Man, I'm going to sleep so much this weekend. Hey, what'd you get on the test? I'm hungry. Homework should be illegal. Huh? Cody! Hey, Bridget. How was school? It was great. Oh, hey, I want to show you something. What is it? Ta-da! <laughs> we got our midterm projects back in sticking today. Check it out! Hey, not bad. For dolls, they look just like you and me. Thanks. I'm thinking of maybe making a store when I get older. A stuffed animal store. Wow, 11 years old and already dreaming of being an entrepreneur. Must friend the family, huh, big bro? Yeah, Mom would be proud you're following in her footsteps. Come on, let's get home and make dinner. So, Cody, what were your midterm grades? What? M my grades? Yeah, you already know about my sewing grades. But I got all A's in all my other classes, too. What about you? Well... Well, uh, I know, um, I got A's in metalworking and computer programming. Cool. What about algebra and biology? <laughs> Hi, guys. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you'll never miss a new video. Enjoy. Well, uh, what good would algebra and biology do me outside of school anyway? Ah! Cody! I thought you said you were gonna try harder! Yeah, well, you know me, Bridget. I've never cared about grades. Besides, in big classrooms, all I do is slow the class down. And I don't want to frustrate my teachers by always asking questions. But Cody, it's their job! And say all you want about you don't care about grades, but you did great at the private school- DON'T! Sorry. It's... not me, is it? What? Where'd you get that idea? The dad being gone a lot. You have to look after me. Am I annoying you, Cody? You are not annoying me, Bridget. You're the one who keeps me in line! I wouldn't be the person I am today without you. I've always been sloppy. Cody! I won't do my laundry till I'm out of clean underwear. Cody, you know I hate it when you do this! I wouldn't eat healthy if I didn't have you to make food for. I wouldn't get half as much exercise if you weren't my biking buddy. You're gonna crash! God knows if it weren't for you, I wouldn't even wake up on time to get to school. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm your raison d'etre, not your distraction. <laughs> <sighs> There's that smile I'm looking for. Bridget, I know in the past I haven't been the best big brother I could have, no, should have been, but I want you to know, you won't ever be an annoyance to me, never again, okay? Cody, that's sweet of you and all, but I can't appreciate it with your hands off the handlebars like that. No, oh, that's a shame. Hands-free is so much fun. How about I teach you sometime? <gasps> Daddy, watch out! Huh? No! <laughs> Bridget! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. But next time we're wearing helmets. Are you sure? Do you have a concussion? Are you dizzy? Is your eyesight blurry? Recite me a nursery rhyme. Cody, I'm fine. 
Stop it! Cody, look! Huh? A rabbit? Yeah. Do you think it's wild? Not with a coat color like that. Is that even a natural fur color? Come here, little guy. I'm sorry we scared you. Can I pet you? <laughs> There's a good little bunny. Are you lost? <gasps> okay, I think the rabbit's fine. Come on, let's get home. Okay. Okay, that was weird. I didn't think there were rabbits in this area. You little... Hmm? This just went from weird to spooky. Cody, I think he wants us to follow him. What? Come on. Let's see where he wants to take us. What? Well, Bridget? Last I checked, your name wasn't Alice! There's plenty of time before it gets dark. I'm sure it'll be fine. Hold up, Bridget! Hop on! down this road. Yeah, me too. There has to be a reason the road was close to through traffic, right? Isn't this exciting? It's like we're in a book. Yeah, didn't I say that earlier, Alice? <laughs> hey, did it get dark fast or am I just imagining things? <laughs> huh? always been here? I don't know. Maybe? Wonder if it's been abandoned. If it has, it wasn't that long ago. Cody, look! The rabbit! It's waiting for us. Why did it bring us here? Now I really feel like Alice in Wonderland. Not until we go down the rabbit hole. Let's go, Cody! <sighs> I'm having second thoughts about this, Bridget. Oh, we're already here. Me as well, right? Besides, remember what Mom said? Never act in fear. I don't think that's what she meant. Well, duh! But if we turn back now because you're scared, what will we miss? We won't know until we find out, right? Oh, fine. Can't win against an argument like that. I know. That's why I said. <laughs> Little brat. I hate it when you use Mom's life advice against me. Seriously, though, Bridget. I'm getting major spooky vibes from this place. Huh? Uh, yeah, uh, this is pretty cool. Stop being so jumpy, Cody. Ease up and have some fun. I don't know if I can. I feel like we're being watched. Oh, you worry too much. It's probably just an animal or something. But it's so quiet. Normally you'd hear animals or crickets at night, but there's nothing. 
like we're in a dead zone. Hey! We caught up to the rabbit! That's it, I'm done. I'm not going one step further. Fine then. You wait here, and I'll go get the rabbit, Brady Cat. Be back in a flash! <sighs> this was such a bad idea. I hope you found that rabbit, because whether you did or not, we're out of here. Uh, Bridget? Oh, Cody, look at him! He's so soft and cute! Can we keep him? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, just stick him in your backpack or something and let's go already. Whoa, you're spooked. Did a shadow jump at you or something? Hardy har har. Come on, let's scram. Freddy! Freddy! Did you see that? Children! <laughs> what are they doing way out here? I'm so late, too. <gasps> Easy, gang. They'll be fine as long as they make it out of the park before midnight. We're just gonna let them leave? What? Yes, we're going to let them leave. But Freddy! Don't fight me on this. They have to be out of the park before midnight, or... <clears throat> Cotton! says it's it's Cody what where'd all this fog come from forget that why is it black In the... hmm. ah! Bridget, do you hear that too? Bridget? What's the matter? Ah! How did this happen? How could this happen? Why are you asking us? Those kids were literally in the wrong place at the wrong time! But it wasn't even close to midnight last I checked! Ahoy, Freddy! They got the lifeline. Perfect! Thank you, Foxy. I'm going in. If we're lucky, it will be in time. I'm coming with... No, Bonnie. You stay here. What? Stay here?! You heard me. But, Freddy, it's too dangerous for you to go alone! We have no time! Just do as I say for once! <laughs> We've gotta get away! But where do we go? Kids! Over here! Come towards my voice! Get inside! Now! Get the barricade, quick! I've got... 
got it! Give it here! Keep back! Never tried to come in before. It's okay. As long as we keep the doors closed, it can't get in. Are you two all right? Introducing ourselves, of course. But that's exactly the opposite of what we should be doing. What, shooing them out of the park? It's a bit late for that, isn't it? Uh, uh... Um, I'm Bridget. Bridget Humphrey. This is my big brother, Cody. Thank you for helping us. It was no problem, sweetie. We couldn't leave you two out there on good conscience. Bonnie, Chica! What brought you kids here anyhow? Cody and I were on our way home from school when we found this rabbit. We followed him here and, <laughs> well, the rest is history. Huh. Fancy that. Oh, stop being all timid, Foxy. Come up and say hi. <laughs> Foxy can be a little shy at first. But really, he's the sweetest guy you'll meet. Yeah, right. After he's sure that you don't all bite. I do not think that, you blockhead! Hey, are you a pirate? <laughs> I lost. Really? I love pirates! One of the main characters from my favorite movie is a pirate! Can you sword fight and swing from ropes? <laughs> Why, you bet your doubloons I sure can. You want me to find a rope-swinging sword fighter this side of the Seven Seas? Jiminy Christmas, everything's falling apart. Don't let him fool you. He's not a real pirate. Just likes role-playing a bit too much. Don't you let long ears here lead you on either, pups. He'd just be jealous he got no imagination. Oh, oh, Foxy. You aren't fixing to start something, are you, old sea codger? Well, if I am, you prissy landlubber. Bonnie, Foxy, don't you two even think about- Okay. Looks like we're starting to outstay our welcome. Thanks for getting us out of that pickle, guys. But I think it's time me and Bridget start to head home. Aww. <laughs> But kid, it's past midnight! Hi, lad. It ain't a good idea. You two barely made it last time. You can't go back out there. Thanks for the warning. But whatever was lurking out in the fog is gone now. <laughs> Cody, what's wrong? What the hell? My heart is pounding. It's hard to breathe. I feel like I need to run as far away as I can. Like, I'm in the crosshairs of a predator.
What's out there, anyway? Hmm. Um, we don't really know. All we do know is that it arrives with the fog at midnight exactly. And it doesn't leave until the sun rises at 6 a.m. Any living thing that remains outside in the park during that time period is... Well, we're not sure about that, either. All we've seen is the aftermath. Hmm. <sighs> I suppose there's no other choice. You children may stay here until the fog dissipates in the morning. Entertain yourselves how you will. I need to soothe this splitting migraine I've developed. So... You guys have cards? Uh, have any... Clownfish? Nope. Goldfish. Cody, have any mackerels? Darn. Foxy, do you have any koi? Aye. And that makes three books. I win! Aww. Do you guys want to keep playing until we're all out? Or do you want to move to another game? I want to keep playing. I'm halfway to kicking Foxy's tail. I'd like to see it try. Okay, keep playing it is. I haven't had this much fun in years. You know, this beats everything else I'd do on a Friday night. Like what? Our homework? Uh... You have homework? Uh, no... Cody, you can't fool me! You won the game, go do your homework! What? Are you kidding me, Bridget? No, but I will keep bugging you about it if you don't get it done! You know I will! you finish it, the faster you can come back and play with us. Eh, fine. Tiger baby sister. Hmm, no signal. Huh? Jeez, what was I thinking? We'd get lost before we'd walk even ten steps. Even if there wasn't something we're not going anywhere until the sun rises. I could just pretend my tablet's battery is dead. There's no electricity here, I don't think, so I wouldn't be able to charge it. But if I hold off until we get home in the morning, she'll just bug me then. Ah, fine. Let's just try to hurry and get this over with. Mr. Humphrey. <laughs> you must weigh over 300 pounds! How are you so quiet? It's a curse, really. And, uh, Cody is fine. Hey, what was your name anyway? The others didn't tell you? When I asked, they just kept calling you Mr. Party Pooper. It's a miracle we've put up with one another for so long. My name's Freddy. Freddy Fazbear. Uh, nice to meet you. Hmm. That's Fazbear. Does the name ring any bells? Um, no. Should it? My family only moved here just earlier this year, so... Hmm. No, don't worry about it. You seem to be struggling. May I assist you in any way? 
Only if you can make my homework disappear. I can't make heads or tails out of any of this junk. May I see? Sure, whatever. Hmm. Hmm. I believe I see your problem here. You've been trying to do it the long way around. Let me show you a more concise method. I get it now, and if that's true, then that solves this problem, and this problem, and this problem, and this problem! I've achieved academic nirvana! Wait, you only just looked at my homework and you understand it? And you can turn around and teach it just as easily. How? It's in my nature to be a teacher. Also, I read. A lot? Well, there isn't much to do here, after all. I find books around the park occasionally, so that's what I fill my time with. Wow. You can understand this stuff just by reading it. Boy, does that make me jealous. I wish I could just read this stuff and understand. My teachers would certainly like me more. Hmm. I can't believe I'm doing this. Would you like me to help you further? Huh? Yes! Yes, please! Okay, so here's another bit I'm having trouble with. I'm surprised she can sleep so soundly. Not me. It's always been easy for Bridget to fall asleep whenever and wherever. Will you be alright not sleeping tonight? Yeah, I'll just take a nap when we get home in the morning. Hmm. As long as you're getting sleep somehow. I told you my family moved here recently, right? It's only been three months, but Bridget's always been the type who thrives when she's with friends. Has she been struggling? A little. I can tell she gets lonely. Especially when it's just her and me and Dad's out of town. Like this week. Hmm. You know, it's been a while since I've seen Bridget so happy. Spending the night with you all really lifted her spirits. So, paranormal strangeness aside, thank you for being here. The morning sun came right around six. Not a speck of creepy black fog in sight. Um, I uh, hope I'm not asking for too much, but... Would it be okay if Cody and I came back again? <coughs> we had a lot of fun, and Cody still has homework he needs to catch up on. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Freddy, can't they? Chica. Aw, oh, come on! What's the harm? Hey, Cotton, why not? What about their parents? Won't they be worried? Our dad'll be out of town for a couple more days. And he'll be none the wiser as long as we don't skip school. Regardless, last night was a close call. You children might have been seriously hurt, or worse. Next time we might not be so lucky, and... 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 Oh, cheese and crackers. Fine. 
They may come back for one more night. Yay! But afterward, that's it. No more. And you must leave before midnight. Understand? Yes, sir. We'll bring more stuff for us to play with tonight, okay? Can't wait, Lars. We'll see you later. Oh, I'm so excited. We can play with children again, just like the good old days. I still think this is a bad idea. Obviously not as much, or he wouldn't have let them come back. Hey, maybe the cop means in such a party pooper after all. I knew you two were the ones behind that! I oughta box your ears, you two little- Yeah! <laughs> Thank you, Freddy. Really, I know you're happy to have kids around again, too. We all saw you helping Cody with his homework. It was nice to see you smile again. Hmm. It's been a while. Hasn't it? Over 40 years. I hope we don't come to regret this. We won't. I'm positive. <laughs> I don't know how you're so optimistic all the time, Chica. Well, someone has to keep the mood light for you party boopers. So far, so good. There, found Bunny Flyer out on my face page. And now we wait. But Cody, what if no one claims him? Bridget, you're not expecting to keep him, are you? Or uh, why not? Can we call Dad and see? <sighs> Fine, I'll call. But it's not like he'll say anything I haven't. Hey, Dad. No, we're fine. I just have a question. See, we found this bunny wandering around all alone last night, and Bridget was wondering... Yeah, he seems tame. I put up a found poster online, but it could be a while... What? You don't have to do that! Are you sure? Okay, I'll tell her. Love you too. Bye. What did he say? He said we can keep him. Dad's putting money on the card so we can go to the vet and get stuff we need for him. <sighs> hmm? Oh, wipe those smug smiles off your faces. Well, good news is that you have a healthy young rabbit here. Good physical condition, has all his shots, now. Uh, bad news is that he's not microchipped, so we can't tell if he's lost or was abandoned. Hey, how old is he anyway? Well, there's only one way to tell for sure. You have to reach under and feel the skin of the private area to test its toughness. <laughs> Okay? Uh, yes, yes, I'm fine. The little guy's got quite a kick. Well, can you really blame him? Foam pads, dog fence for caging, litter box, hay for bedding and feed, or hidey hole slash bed, grooming, travel case, water and food, Toys, feed and treats, and more hay. Rabbits are expensive! Oh hey! He's already litter box trained! Bridget, what are you doing? The rabbit's a little stinky, so I'm gonna give him a bath! Oh, but Bridget, you're not supposed to give rabbits baths. What? Really? 
Yeah, they're prey animals, so they get frightened easily. If you put him in the tub, he might get so scared he'll have a heart attack. Well, I guess one bath won't kill him. Everything checks out. Got Dad's permission, got him checked up, got the necessities of bunny living. Guess we've officially got a new pet. All he needs now is a name. Do you have one in mind? Yep, I've been thinking about it all day. I'm gonna call him Halo. Halo? I always thought it'd be a pretty name. Hey, Dad. How's it going? Good, good. Yeah, Bridget's here. Say hi, Bridget. Hi, Daddy! Oh, uh, my grades? <laughs> yeah, uh, my teacher was late handing them out. Uh, should be in by Monday. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Shush! Halo? Oh, you mean the rabbit. He's doing good. So, uh, when are you coming home? Okay, I'll tell Bridget. Love you too. Bye. Tell me what? Dad's coming home late on Wednesday. Oh, does that mean we won't be able to come back here after that? You're assuming we are coming back after tonight. But... Yeah, I think so. Dad won't exactly be thrilled to know we're biking around up in the mountains alone at night. Let alone that we're going to an abandoned amusement park to visit some old robots. Freddy and the others seem nice. And you guys really hit it off last night. So I'd like to keep coming back, but... Whatever happens will happen, I suppose. Hey! You ever wonder why they haven't left the park? Hmm... I did wonder last night. We'll have to remember to ask. You're back! Holy shit! Oh, where the heck did you come from? Sorry, Chica got a little too excited waiting. So we decided to meet you here. Oh, you brought the rabbit. Yeah, he got really antsy when we were about to leave, so we brought him with us. Hi, Foxy! Ahoy there, lass! 